Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And of course, um, I get this question from time to time, and I got it today. Um, and it's about Windows 12, and it's about does Windows 12, will Windows 12, still have the dreaded control panel? So, uh, of course, the control panel is something that creates a lot of discussion, a lot of passion among users. If you've been using Windows for a long time, this is the place you are used to going to check all the different settings and all the stuff that you need. There's still a lot of things in the control panel, but more and more, the control panel brings you to the settings app for its different options. They are still working on slowly moving features from the control panel to the settings, but it's a tough one and it's a tough job. There's a lot of things in there. Um, one thing for sure, Windows is the only operating system that has two control panels uh, and it shows you how difficult it is for uh, the team and Windows team to really move all of this into one new panel. So, you know, this is the part of Windows that still feels old, even though you're in a modern operating system like Windows 11. And I think that Windows 12 will still have the control panel. There's no way that they have worked enough to remove it from Windows 12. In fact, I suspect that Windows 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 <laughs> will all have a control panel. Um, it almost sounds like it's slower we used to have like a regular uh, beat where Microsoft would take a feature and suddenly it'd be in the control panel. You know, we'd have some features like, oh, the sound now. Well, if you have sound stuff now, you can open, you know, the sound settings and everything's here. And um, pretty much all the settings you want for the input and output of your sound is there now. You don't really need to use the older um, features, but, Still, um, you know, there, it's not everything, and there's still some things that, that pop up. So even though they have the volume mixer and things like that here, it's still not complete. They're still missing parts. Um, so we haven't seen any really new, well, you know, we could argue that there's the new uh, system tab that is, is of course, uh, going to be uh, showing us the system components in a separate way. But even the system components and the system tab doesn't really bring us um, all that we want to see. It brings us mostly the core apps like this, but core apps is more than that. There are some core apps that are installed in the control panel, um, especially in the programs and features and the turn on or off programs and features here on the upper left. So. You know, it just tells you how complicated all of this is, and it's um, something that isn't a going away soon. And the control panel is going to be there in Windows 12. They could move a few things. Maybe there will be a few things that will be added to the Settings app. But, um, you know, I find it almost impossible for them to really, um, you know, get rid of the control panel, honestly. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.